Yes, sorry, good point. Are you he or she? Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Spoiler alert, the 60th anniversary special of Doctor Who finally reveals the Doctor's exact pronouns and makes hints about a gender identity after Jodie Whittaker's regeneration, after leaving viewers perplexed in the power of the Doctor. Because male actors portrayed the Doctor in Doctor Who, people have always assumed that the Doctor is a guy. In addition, this character had a haircut and wardrobe that were stereotypically associated with men. This was altered, though, when Jodie Whittaker was chosen to be the 13th Doctor Doctor on Doctor Who. After 54 years of one expectation, all of a sudden, a woman played the Doctor, dressing the part in stereotypically feminine attire and sporting a blonde bob haircut. The show shocked viewers by appointing David Tennant as the 14th Doctor in Doctor Who, which further complicated the gender of the Doctor. Since it's a new version of the Doctor, they might have used a different gender presentation and set of pronouns if they had gone on to use actor Shuti Gatwa. However, this version of the Doctor was already addressed as a man and used the pronouns he slapped him. Fortunately, a clearer picture of the Doctor's identity is offered in the first episode of the 60th anniversary special of Doctor Who, The Star Beast. The final article is the Doctor's pronoun. Beep from Doctor Who in the 60th anniversary special, the Meep appears scared. The Doctor's pronouns are made clearer in the 60th anniversary episode of Doctor Who following Jodie Whittaker's regeneration. The Doctor asks Beep the Meep what pronouns to use after calling him out for using the creature's pronouns. The Meep claims that the definite article is used in conjunction conjunction with the creature's name by the meep instead of pronouns. After regenerating as both a male and feminine Time Lord, the Doctor responds, I do that too, offering a conclusive response to the question of how the Doctor employs labels. Pronouns are not used by the Doctor when aligning with the meep. The Doctor should only be referred to as the Doctor. The Doctor's gender identity is confirmed by Donna's Metacrisis. In The Star Beast, the 60th anniversary special of Doctor Who, the Doctor concludes that half of Donna's Gallifreyan Time Lord energy has has been inherited by her child, Rose, during their discussion of the Metacrisis. Because the Doctor is a man, a woman, both, and neither, the Doctor and Donna come to the conclusion that Rose identifies as non-binary. A few identity labels most closely match this gender description. The word non-binary refers to anyone who does not identify solely as a male or a woman, and the Doctor most definitely fits under this category. The Doctor may also identify as gender fluid, which would suggest that, depending on the situation, the Doctor Doctor's gender identity would change. This makes sense given that the Doctor has alternately regenerated with feminine and masculine traits. It would also clarify why the Doctor has referred to several regenerations with distinct pronouns. Another identity that the Doctor could have is omni-gender, which is the experience of all genders to varied degrees of intensity. Since there is significant overlap between the two categories, both of the latter terms fall under the non-binary category, the Doctor may simultaneously identify with all of these labels. In the end, it is impossible to determine the Doctor's precise gender. The Doctor is from Gallifrey, therefore, it's possible that he doesn't even identify as an earthly gender. However, a more lucid understanding of the Doctor's inner experience can be found in the first episode of the 60th anniversary special of Doctor Who, The Star Beast. Additionally, there is sufficient information given for viewers to determine for themselves which particular label fits. The 14th Doctor is described by Rose as male-presenting. Donna and Rose Noble and the Doctor Who 60th Anniversary Special Look Happy When Rose describes the Doctor at the end of the 60th Anniversary Special episode The Star Beast, she is using the British euphemism for masculine presenting, which is male presenting. Within the story, the phrase has several uses. First of all, it accepts that the Doctor of the present regeneration will continue to see the universe through the lens of a socialized and male-perceived individual. This is a crucial distinction because Whitaker's Doctor was viewed as a woman, which led to different encounters and experiences for the 13th Doctor. Regretfully, the Doctor can never fully break free from the cultures of the people around him. Second, this phrasing implies that most Doctor Who characters, apart from Rose Nobel, will likely continue to infer his gender from the way he presents himself. When the Doctor presents in a masculine manner, they will refer to him as he, and in a feminine manner, as she. It acknowledges, yet, that the Doctor is still a unique individual who defies categorization. Additionally, it leaves up the potential that, when referring to the Doctor, Doctor Who may start utilizing the singular they or the definite article. 